Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. My name is Smart Money Mo and in today's video we're going to be going over how to refine order blocks and I'm going to be you know giving you guys a step-by-step -step guide exactly how you can increase RR using um, order block refining. So before the video starts quickly make sure you check out my Instagram down below that is going to be the first link in the description um, where I will be uh, posting regularly educational content stories so on and so forth and if you do want mentorship um, after this video Click the link in the description to get um, in contact with me on Telegram and we can book uh, some one on ones. But for now, let's get into the video. So, refining order blocks. Now, let's just um, picture a, um, a scenario where we have an order block on the four hour time frame. Now, usually on the four hour time frame, there's going to be a couple problems with this order block, you know, in terms of RR, stop losses, take profits. And so, yeah, let's just go over that. So, let's just take this you know this uh, diagram that i've made as an example so we've got a buy order block on the four hour time frame right and there's going to be a couple problems with this order block first of all this order block is one on the four hour so this means it will usually have a large stop loss right and a low rr now this is because on the four hour time frame order blocks are usually going to span over you know a large a large area so they you know they are going to have large stop losses and low rrs because you know even if the take profit is a lot of pips um because of how much you know the stop loss also is it's a ratio it's a risk reward ratio so it, you're probably going to get a low rr of like one to four one to three one to two something like that right however we to tackle this you know to tackle this problem we have a solution and that is refining an order block right there are many other solutions like lower time frame confirmations wyckoff but today we're going to be going over um refining order block so what we're going to do is within this four hour order block we're going to look for a smaller zone within it on the lower time frame so let's say we have this four hour order block right if i just draw on what i mean by a smaller zone so we've got this four hour order block let's say now i move on to the 30 minute time frame so what i'm going to look for in the 30 minute time frame is still within this zone i'm going to look for like within this four hour order block zone i'm going to look for a smaller zone within it now, the reason I'm doing this is because on the lower time frames, um, the order blocks that I'll be finding within this zone are going to have a smaller stop loss and they will have a higher RR and they will also have a higher take profit, which I'll get into in the next slide. But for now, all you guys need to know is that with refining order blocks, wh what the process is, is that if I just quickly erase all ink, we're going to be taking a four hour order block, right? Or an eight hour order block, 12 hour order block, daily order block, where, where, as long as it's on the higher time frame, right? We're going to start off with the higher time frame, then we're going to move on to the lower time frame, and we're going to find order blocks within the original zone, right? So we've got this four hour order block, and we're going to start finding zones within it, right? And you may need to do this multiple times, right? You may need to go from the four hour to the 30 minute. Then from the 30 minute, you may need to go to the 15 minute. Then you may need it, you know, you may even need to go to the um, the two minute or the one minute, right? I wouldn't recommend going on to the one minute because um, order blocks on there can be like one to two pip order blocks and you might get stopped out. I'll get onto that later on. Um, so, yeah, I'd say, you know, you may go on to the three minute or the two minute, right? And yeah, so this process is what we call refining an order block. So now let's move into what exactly happens when you refine an order block now. So sticking with our four hour example, what has changed? First of all, we, we've increased our RR. This is because we've reduced our stop loss, right? So if we think about our entry, let, let's say we entered just off the one, right? Just a normal order block entry. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So let's just say we have our normal order block entry, right? We enter from the one and we have some take profit, you know, over here or something, right? I, I, um, I, I sell order block, right? So, First of all, our um, our original entry, like we said before, would have had a low RR, high stop loss, so on and so forth, right? We spoke about the problems earlier. Now, with this entry, uh, with, sorry, with this new entry, we're entering deeper into the order block, right? So already we've got a, a reduced stop loss, right? Because if we say, let's say this is our original entry, right? Th this over here is our original entry and over here is our stop loss, right? So if I just erase everything and I'll show you exactly what's going on. Now, if we enter from this zone and we target the same area that was over here, what has changed? First of all, we've reduced our stop loss, 
right? We've reduced our stop loss. This is because we are entering deeper into the order block and now our, our stop loss is, you know, is closer, right? So before our stop loss was this many pips, right? However many it is, because of course this is an example. Now it's this many pips, right? So in this example, we've, we've reduced our stop loss by half. And all we've did is we've, and now let's just assume this is a 15 minute zone, right? So this whole, you, the, okay, so this whole black box, right? That is our four hour zone. And now this new green area over here is our 15 minute zone, right? So we've went from the 15, uh, from the four hour time frame to the 15 minute. Um, don't worry guys, I will be showing you two examples. I'm using refining order blocks just in case um, you are getting a bit confused. So just stick around until the end of the video. So what has happened? So we've reduced our stop loss, we've gone over that. Now we've increased our take profit. What do I mean by that? By entering deeper into the order block, deeper into our four hour zone, what has happened is we are catching more pips. Why? Because we are catching now all of the pips within this area that we wouldn't have been catching before. Now, if I just show you what I mean by that, if we were entering off the one of this four hour zone, we that's this area over here is what we'd be catching, right? This area over here. Now, if we think about our, our new refined zone, right? Over here, we are also catching all of the pips within here as well, so, right? So our new take profit, is all of this we're catching all of these pips instead of just um from here to there right so so that's how that that's the good that's like that's like the good side of what happens when you refine an order block however there are a bit you know there are some problems with refining order blocks first of all uh if i just get this there is an increased risk of getting stopped out now why do i say this first of all um with refining our order blocks let's say you have an order block and let's say you refine your order block to an, a smaller one over here. The fact that price has come this low could perhaps be an indicator that, you know, this order block may not be um, mitigated in the way that we want it to. And in fact, you may get stopped out, right? Um, and also, uh, when you are um, when you are refining your zone, you may set your, you may try and set your stop loss higher, right? You may just set your stop loss like this. And then you may get stopped out like that. So price still follows the direction of movement towards the upside. However, um, uh, we we still hit stop loss, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how you can counter counter these problems when I go on when I get onto the uh, real life chart examples. Um, however, it's good to keep in mind um, what exactly is happening when we you know refine an order block. So first of all, we have an increased risk of getting stopped out, and we also have an increased chance of missing the trade. Now, what I mean by that is price can very well mitigate this four hour order block and not tap into our lower time frame zone right we, it, it could not um it, it may it perhaps maybe will not you know tap into our refined zone right and so you know we have an increased chance of missing uh, the trade because like i said price can just hit off the one of our four hour order block instead of it um coming down and mitigating this um set uh this refined order block right so there is a chance of that happening still um so now that we've gone through, you know, this chart um, diagram example, we've gone through the problems, the solution, which is refining the order block. We've gone through what happens on the good side and what happens on the bad side. Now let's get into the real life chart examples. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So let's begin with this example that I've come up with on GBP AUD, right? So if we just begin with um, this one hour zone, so I did say on the f we would start off on the four hour zone. However, with this example, I'm refining from the one hour zone how because we still have quite a large stop loss, right? So if I just you know create a bit of like a, of a backstory as to you know this order block, so on our overall trend is um, we are clearly bearish, right? We're we're creating bearish structure. However, recently we've seen a push to the upside with you know with movements like this and like this and you know we've seen a break of structure so whenever we see a break of structure right we see a break of structure there has to be an order block which created that and we've got this order block right here so inherently i'm going to try and trade this order block now the problem with this order block is that first of all the stop loss right or the rr and just in general this one hour zone despite it being on the one hour time frame it's got a risk to reward of so throughout this video i would just be targeting this um uh, area over here right so uh, the 0 0.5 of this order block over here so 
So the problem with this Uderbrock is it has a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio, which is a bit too low, and it's got a 23 pip stop loss, right? And, you know, with, with trading smart money concepts, you want to be aiming with at least, you know, at least minimum 1 to 6 and, you know, less than less than 20 pip stop losses, right? You want to be getting as, you know, with smart money concepts, your main aim is to get high RR, um, low stop losses, while, you know, keeping a, a, a decent win rate. You know, your win rate doesn't have to be amazing. It's all about RR, RR over win rate all the time, right? So we've got a 1 to 3 and we've got a uh, 23 pip stop loss. So now what I'm going to begin to do is show you the refining process, right? We're slowly going to go down by 30 minute, 15 minute, 5 minute, 1 minute. And we're going to just, you know, begin to refine this order book. And I'm going to show you guys the changes that we'll see. So I'll just keep this here as a reminder as to, you know, what this order block once was. So this entry once was from here, 1 to 3, 23 pip stop loss, right? And so we'll just keep that there uh, in, in reference. Uh, if I just put this here. Right? So now let's begin with the refining process. So what we can do is straight away, we can just go on to the 45 uh, minute, right? Do we see, okay, let me just uh, replay this. Um, now, do we see any new zones? No, we don't see any new zones. So what I'll just do is I'll move on to the next time frame, right? What I'm looking for is order blocks within the order block, right? So we've got this one hour zone. Now I'm looking for, so I'll just show you what I mean by that. So I've got this one hour zone. Now I'm gonna start looking for order blocks within it, right? It has to be within this one hour zone. I'm gonna start be on the lower time. I'm gonna start looking for, you know, um, order blocks within it. So go on to 30 minute. Um, okay, so there is potentially an order block over here. However, I don't think this changes our RR by much. Um, so I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll leave it in for now, just to see, um, you know, as comparison. So if we just bring our entry now, um, how much has it changed by? Not much, right? We've reduced the stop loss by a couple of pips. Not much of a change. Now, if I now, so what we're going to do is we're just going to move on to our lower time frame. Let's say the twenty minute, right? Okay. So what we've done is we've identified an even, uh, an, an even smaller zone, right? So if I just draw in this zone over here, and something that you need to notice, guys, is that I'm always bringing my stop loss back down to the zero, right? So if we think the order block in terms of levels we've got three levels we've got the one so this is where you would enter from the 0 0.5 and the zero right and i will always be bringing my stop loss back down to the zero of the order block right because this will maximize my chances of not getting stopped out so remember how we said that there was a um with refining a, a, your order blocks there's a problem of getting stopped out right so to counteract this we can always bring our stop loss down to the zero so even if i'm entering from over here Right, let's say this is my new entry. I'll always keep my stop loss back down to the zero. So now if we look at the changes in uh, in, in uh, RR and um, I'll take profit and so on and so forth, right? You can see that we've now achieved a one to five with a 13 pip stop loss. So slowly and slowly, we're achieving better RRs and better stop losses, right? So now let's continue to move on. So now I've got that entry on the, what was that, the 20 minute. Um, we can now move down to the 10 minute, right? Now with the 10 minute, there's not much change. So I'll, I'll just continue to look down. Um, now we'll move on to the uh, five minute. Again, I'm not seeing any, you know, clear and defined refined zones. So I'll just move on to the two minute. All right, here we have something interesting, right? So we've got a potential zone right here right so we've got a zone there and we had a zone on top of that but that was similar to this entry over here so i'm just going to leave that one out so we had so now we've got our most refined zone this zone over here so now if i just delete the other zones right this is now our most refined zone right keep in mind so if i now go back to the one hour time frame and we compare our zones right Things to keep in mind. First of all, my my smallest zone, so my zone from the two minute time frame, is still within the uh, the one hour order block, right? It's still within it, right? I haven't gone like down here. I haven't gone up here. It's still within the one hour order block, right? 
thing thing number two that you need to remember my, when i enter for, with this order block right my stop loss will still be at the zero right my stop loss will still be at the zero so right there now if we target the same exact areas as before let's look at the differences so first of all what has happened we went from a one to two risk to reward and a 23 pip stop loss to a one to 17 risk to reward with a four pip stop loss so you can see the changes you know are, are, are quite amazing here right so and also 83 pip take profit 64 pip take profit right that's you know what is that that's almost 20 pips right so you can see the amount of changes that we can create by simply just refining the order block working our way down the time frames and finding smaller zones within this zone right and if i show you if i just show you guys um the results of the trade you get tapped in we, we hit take profit right and you can clearly see the difference in what would have happened right i still would have hit take profit and you know got an entry if i used the old zone however with smart money concepts the most important thing that we're trying to achieve is a high rr and a small stop loss it is the idea of low risk trading right where you know we're going we're going for those high rrs you know we're achieving one to 17 five pip stop losses four pip stop losses uh, and we're going from one to two to one to 17 right and that is what re refining an order block can do so now we've gone through example one i'll go through another example to finalize everything and i'll see you guys in that example all right, guys. So now let's begin with this example that I have. Um, I've got on NZD CAD, right? So now, right now, we're on a on a higher time frame, right? And I've spotted with NZD CAD, um, our time frame, our higher time frame bias. You know, we're moving uh, a little bit um, in a range, right? we we recently we're respecting um, um, a bearish structure. However, we've also seen a, a change of character, right? We've seen a break of structure, and so. With this comes opportunities, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start on the higher time frame, right? We'll start on the 12 hour time frame, and then, like I said, we'll work our way down. So, first of all, uh, we've got this 12 hour zone, right? And if we just check the RR and the, you know, the stats on this one, so we've got a 62 pip stop loss, and if I just target, um, I'll just target something on the four hour. Um, so we'll target this. Uh, all the block over here, right? And we'll just continue to target this um, area over here, right? Or okay, let's look for something a bit more refined. All right, cool. We'll target this area right here, right? And we'll con we'll continue to target this throughout the video. So now that we're on the twelve-hour time frame, we'll go back. So we'll go back to the twelve-hour time frame, and we'll begin the refining process, right? And we'll just keep this in, like I say, uh, for reference. Now, so so let, let okay, let's see. Sixty-two pip stop loss. 112 take profit one to basically a one to two right so now let's begin so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop straight down to the four hour time frame right um okay so i've already spotted a smaller zone right so we'll just mark that out not much changes but it's just good for you know for reference right and now we'll move down to the two hour time frame not much change so like I say, just go down to the smaller time frames, right? We'll, we'll now go down to the one hour time frame. All right, cool. I can see another order block. So we've got this order block. And like I say, I'll drag the stop loss back down to the zero. Right. And so now we've, we've created change. So we'll delete the old one. And now we have this new refined zone, right? And we'll just continue to do this. 30 minute. I haven't seen much change. So I'll go back down to the 15 minute right again we're still we're, right now we're still within this zone right we haven't seen much change you know where there is an order block here but you know that would just increase our stop loss so i would i don't see why we would go to that zone so we'll just go down to the 10 minute um not much here either potentially a zone within this area um we'll just go down to the uh, five minute and because this order block is on the um, the 12 hour time frame, I'd probably stop on the five minute. Right, so here we go. Here is our refined zone, right? And what else I like about the zone is that the fact it's right above this small area of, of liquidity, right? We've got this area of liquidity, right? Um, I'll just draw that out as a small uh, area of liquidity. 
right so we've got this small area of liquidity right and i like this because price can just grab this area of liquidity tap into our order block and shoot right up right it's a scenario that we've all seen before uh, where there's liquidity above an order block price can grab it and you know tap into our order block so i like that uh, as well so now we've got this refined five minute zone and let's do the comparisons so if i'll just go to the one hour time frame drag this over to the right now let's see the comparison right so we'll target the same exact areas as before so i actually go on to the four hour right so now we've got our five minute zone and now we're just going to compare it so now what do we see okay now if we target the same exact area we've now achieved the stop uh take profit of one 150 or 160 pips right we've got a st um a risk reward of 1 to 11 and a stop loss of 13 pips right so we've been able to change this from a 1 to 2 to a 1 to 11 62 pip stop loss to a 13 pip stop loss 112 pips take profit to now 160 pips right and that is just the power of refining order blocks and i'll show you guys the results of this one as well so i'll just play this right price taps in hits take profit right we could have even been a bit more ambitious to take profit however uh we like to stay safe so that is the process of refining all rocks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it educational. Make sure you check out the Instagram. And if you want to, uh, DM me on Telegram for uh, mentorship. And I'll see you guys in the next one.